I'm sure so many of you were waiting with bated breath on Monday night for Stephanie McMahon's groundbreaking, earth-shattering, history-in-the-making announcement. <laughs> but I guess, in the grand scheme of things, it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big announcement. That announcement, you ask? Well, you probably already know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. October, what is it, 25th? Sure, we'll go with that. The ladies of WWE are going to be able to play with each other on their own show. Should be called No, no Boys Allowed. Got a few videos in the library that may have that title. Just saying. An all-women pay-per-view. Then, now, forever. And it's going to be called WWE Evolution. All biscuits, no sausage. Hey, if you're going to go all one way, I guess that's the better way to go, isn't it? All ladies, all the time, live on the network. For some of you guys, it's going to be three hours of spank bank material. So enjoy. You know, this whole thing about the WWE and their mode recently of wanting to make history and do the first ever. I talked about this before in a video, and this is just another example of them trying to mask over deficiencies in other places by getting people to say, oh, look at what we're doing. Look at what they're doing. Look at how awesome this is and how great this is. This is kind of like that get back for the greatest Royal Rumble where there were no girls allowed. It's kind of like, sounds like Pat Patterson porn library now. So the ladies are getting their own day in the sun. I find it interesting how WWE continues to pat themselves on the back for things like this. Like this is supposed to be a really huge deal. On the one hand, maybe it is. But the only reason it is, is because for so many years, you treated the ladies in WWE so poorly that you didn't do this before. Like you're celebrating what you're doing when you created what you've done. It's just kind of weird. But when you're WWE and you got lots of FU money, you can say F you and celebrate whatever the hell you want. As far as the ladies getting their own show, shit, sure, why not? One thing I think I've been consistent about over the years was always talking about if you're actually going to have female wrestlers in WWE, then use them. And use them to their full advantage. If you are not, the 90 second two minute Divas matches were fucking dumb, added nothing. There's no reason to have them. Well, for the WWE, understanding that women can be an important drawing card for your business, for your product, it makes sense to incorporate them as much as you possibly can. As a result, I have absolutely no issue with the ladies having their own show. The guys got to have their own a few months ago. Now the ladies get to have their own. Now, for those that are going to point out fairness here and say, the guys had a show, and if the women got a payout for that, shouldn't the guys get a payout for the women's show? No. Just, just no. I get where you're going at. Just no. But this is, I guess, kind of a big deal for the ladies of WWE. We're going to see ladies from the past. Ladies of the present, and surely some of the ladies of the future of the company. And everybody's going to focus on this and talk about how great of a thing this is, breaking yet another glass ceiling that WWE artificially put in place anyways. It's skipty skip and whoopty woo And they're going to miss the big point here. And they're going to miss what's really, truly most important. Think about the name of the show. WWE Evolution. Now, I know I've talked about it for years, and some of you don't like what I have to say. Some of you don't agree with me. Some of you get really bothered by it. But I'm going to use this as a reminder once again. If you do not understand the power, the political positioning skill, the abilities, the ability to make miracles like Triple H can do, if you don't understand why once and for all he is truly God of all that you see within WWE, then I don't know what to tell you. You're either an atheist or a flat-out Satan worshiper. The man makes miracles happen. Think about this. The temerity, the gumption, the gall, the balls, the freaking schnoz. 
to sit there and say, we're going to have a women's only pay-per-view. And it's going to be named after my old faction that I led, Evolution. See, ladies and gentlemen, we don't need to worry about invisible men up in the sky and thinking that they may answer our prayers. The God on earth is the God of heaven. Ugh. And he once again has made a miracle. He has taken something like the first ever all-women's pay-per-view for the main roster on the WWE Network and still found a way to make it about him. He can get the royalties from the group evolution and he can technically get the royalties from this evolution. That, ladies and gentlemen, is genius. That, ladies and gentlemen, is brilliant. That, ladies and gentlemen, is true leadership and political prowess. And that, most importantly of all, is something that you can believe in, something that you can see, a miracle that you can experience live and in living color in October on the WWE Network. On everything that is the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley. This is about Triple H. This is about Triple H's ego, Triple H's legacy, Triple H's bragging rights, all of that. And he's made it happen. He made an all-women's pay-per-view about him. I can imagine being a fly on the wall and listening to the meeting discussing this. Vince is like, well, what are we going to do to make history? Because that's all we got. Stephanie's probably sitting there saying, I think we should have a first ever all women's pay per view. Doesn't that sound wonderful, Hunter? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me put down my weed. Oh, God. You know, I've been a big part of this, and I think, oh, God, it should be called WWE Evolution. Oh, God. It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, and Stephanie's like, sounds good to me. What about you, Vince? XFL, XFL, ah, WWE Evolution, whatever. We're bringing back Triple H's gang again. Hey, we're paying any fucking attention. Praise God. He took an all-women's pay-per-view and made it about him. So every time you talk about this show, you're going to be thinking about Triple H. That is brilliant. That is genius, and that is a miracle that we can all believe in. And I am the Schlag Daddy, and this is the Off the Rub Show, not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need, and on everything that is the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley.